Consider your own town or city, what elements contribute to its sense of community. There are most likely private businesses and manufacturing, as well as public schools, government agencies, and possibly a few religious institutions. Although we tend to think of these things as separate entities that provide us with services, they are also individual components of a community or society. In this lesson, we are going to learn about social systems. Social systems are groups and institutions that work together to form a complete whole in sociology. Social systems are used as a concept in academic theory to identify relationships that connect people and organizations, which ultimately contribute to a larger institution. Public education, for example, is a type of social system because it seeks to unite people by providing standard education that will enable them to participate in and contribute to the economy, thereby strengthening the overall society. Ma Bu Hai. I am Owen. In this lesson we will be learning on how human relations are transformed by social systems. For better understanding of the lesson on social systems, the following are the questions that will guide you on focusing on the important concepts of the lesson. Answer them after each topic to check the level of your understanding. 1. What is a social system? 2. Who are the significant contributors of social systems? What are their contributions? 3. What are the components of social systems? 4. What are the characteristics of social systems? 5. What are the types of social systems? 6. What are the functions of social systems? 7. How do human relations are transformed by social systems? Having presented you the guide questions, we are now ready to discuss the lesson. To start the discussion on social systems, let us familiarize ourselves with the major contributors. Though social systems have most likely existed for as long as humans have lived in groups, the concept first appeared as an academic theory in sociologist Talkit Parsons' book, The Structure of Social Action. Significant ideas contributed to the development of the social system as a knowledge from Parson, Lumen, and Forrester. Talcott Parsons developed the first systematic theory of social systems as part of his Agile paradigm. He defined a social system as only a subset or subsystem of action theory. Parsons organized social systems in terms of action units, with one unit being one action performed by an individual. A social system, according to him, is a network of interactions between actors. According to Parsons, social systems rely on a language system and culture must exist in order for a society to qualify as a social system. Parsons' work laid the groundwork for the rest of the study of social systems theory and sparked debate about what framework social systems should be built around, such as actions, communication, or other relationships. Nicholas Lumming was a well-known sociologist and social systems theorist who helped lay the groundwork for modern social system theory. He defined society as an autopoietic system, meaning a self-referential and self-reliant system distinct from its environment, and based his definition of a social system on the mass network of communication between people. Lumen classified social systems into three types, societal systems, organizational systems, and interaction systems. Religion, law, art, education, science, and other societal systems. According to Lumen, are closed systems with various fields of interaction. Organizations were defined as a network of decisions that reproduce themselves however, finding a real-world example is difficult. Finally, interaction systems are systems that reproduce themselves on the basis of communication rather than decision-making. J. Wright Forrester established the field of system dynamics, which is concerned with simulating interactions and dynamic systems. In his work on social systems, he discusses the possibilities of social system dynamics, or modeling social systems using computers to test the effects of new public policies or laws. He acknowledged the difficulty of developing a reliable computer model system in his paper, but argued that an imperfect model was preferable to none in simply implementing new policy. Forrester argued that an effective public policies treat the symptoms of social problems rather than the causes, and that they also tend to focus on efforts rather than results. To further our discussion, 
Let us talk about the elements of social systems. A social system is the collection of individuals and institutions that work together to form a functioning society. Each social system is made up of the same basic components. The following are the components of the social system. 1. Faiths and Knowledge The faiths and knowledge brings about the uniformity in the behavior. They act as controlling agency of different types of human societies. Faith is the result of the prevalent customs and beliefs. They enjoy the force of the individuals are guided towards a particular direction. 2. Sentiment Man does not live by reason alone. Sentiments filial, social, notional etc. have played immense role in investing society with continuity. It is directly linked with the culture of the people. 3. End goal or object Man is born social and dependent. He has to meet his requirements and fulfill his obligations. Man and society exist between needs and satisfactions. End and goal. These determine the nature of social system. They provided the pathway of progress, and the receding horizons. 4. Ideals and Norms The society lays down certain norms and ideals for keeping the social system intact and for determining the various functions of different units. These norms prescribe the rules and regulations on the basis of which individuals or persons may acquire their cultural goals and aims. In other words, ideals and norms are responsible for an ideal structure or system of the society. Due to them the human behavior does not become deviant and they act according to the norms of the society. This leads to organization and stability. These norms and ideals include folkways, customs, traditions, fashions, morality, religion, etc. 5. Status Role Every individual in society is functional. He goes by status role relation. It may come to the individual by virtue of his birth, sex, caste, or age. One may achieve it on the basis of service rendered. 6. Role Like the status, society has prescribed different roles to different individuals. Sometimes we find that there is a role attached to every status. Role is the external expression of the status. While discharging certain jobs or doing certain things, every individual keeps in his mind his status. This thing leads to social integration, organization and unity in the social system. In fact, statuses and roles go together. It is not possible to separate them completely from one another. 7. Power Conflict is a part of social system, and order is its aim. It is implicit, therefore, that some should be invested with the power to punish the guilty and reward those who set an example. The authority exercising power will differ from group to group while the authority of father may be supreme in the family, in the state it is that of the ruler. 8. Sanction It implies confirmation by the superior in authority of the acts done be the subordinate or the imposition of penalty for the infringement of the command. The acts done or not done according to norms may bring reward and punishment. Our next topic is all about the characteristics of social systems. 1. System is connected with the plurality of individual actors. It means that a system or social system cannot be born as a result of the activity of one individual. It is the result of the activities of various individuals. For system, or social system, interaction of several individuals has to be there. 2. Aim and object. Human interactions or activities of the individual actor should not be aimless or without object. These activities have to be according to certain aims and objects. The expression of different social relations born as a result of human interaction. 3. Order and pattern amongst various constituent units. Mere coming together of various constituent units that from social system does not necessarily create a social system. It has to be according to a pattern, arrangement and order. The underlying unity amongst various constituent units brings about social system. 4. Functional relationship is the basis of unity. We have already seen different constituent units have a unity in order to form a system. This unity is based on functional relations. As a result of functional relationships between different constituent units an integrated whole is created and this is known as social system. 5. 
physical or environmental aspect of social system. It means that every social system is connected with a definite geographical area or place, time, society etc. In other words, it means that social system is not the same at different times, at different place and under different circumstances. This characteristic of the social system again points out towards its dynamic or changeable nature. 6. Linked with cultural system, social system is also linked with cultural system. It means that cultural system brings about unity amongst different members of a society on the basis of cultures, traditions, religions etc. 7. Expressed and implied aims and objects, social system is also linked with expressed and implied aims. In other words, it means that social system is the coming together of different individual actors who are motivated by their aims and objectives and their needs. 8. Characteristics of Adjustment Social system has the characteristic of adjustment. It is a dynamic phenomenon which is influenced by the changes caused in the social form. We have also seen that the social system is influenced by the aims, objects and the needs of the society. It means that the social system shall be relevant only if it changes itself according to the changed objects and needs. It has been seen that change takes place in the social system due to human needs, environment and historical conditions and phenomena. 9. Order, Pattern and Balance Social system has the characteristics of pattern, order and balance. Social system is not an integrated whole but putting together of different units. This coming together does not take place in a random and haphazard manner. There is an order and balance. It is so because different units of the society do not work as independent units but they do not exist in a vacuum but in a socio-cultural pattern. In the pattern different units have different functions and roles. It means that there is a pattern and order in the social system. Parsons presents a classification of four major types of social systems in terms of pattern variable. These are as follows. 1. Universalistic achievement pattern. It is a type of structure of social system in whose roles those value orientations are dominant which encourage achievement based on legal rational methods among members of a society. It exemplifies modern industrial societies where the governing values are those of equality, democracy freedom of enterprise, rational management and openness in social interactions. Divisions of society based on caste, ethnicity or other particularistic values do not go well with this social system. The nearest example of this type of structure of a social system, in Parsons' opinion, would be the American society. 2. Universalistic ascription pattern. It is yet another type of configuration of roles which makes a kind of social system in which values of legal rationality are encouraged in performance of roles but the distribution of authority is not on the basis of equality or democracy. Modern principles of science and technology are employed in work and occupation, in industry and communication but the distribution of these takes place on descriptive principles, such as membership to a particular ideological association or party, or cult. Parsons believes that Nazi Germany is an example of one such society. German social structure during the Nazi regime manifested a peculiar combination of rational methods of organization of roles in industries, management and productive institutions but discriminated between those according to them symbolized ideal qualities of German people such as white Nordic races, and those that did not, namely the Jews. There could be other examples drawn from other periods of social history as well. 3. Particularistic Achievement Pattern This type of social structure, according to Parsons, is best seen in the classical Chinese society. This society was dominated by values of familism. By familism we mean the notion of continuity with ancestors' ancestor worship, strong ties of kinship but where the female line of descent was undermined in favor of the male. This led to an overall female subordination in that society. It was based on a configuration of roles in which occupation, authority, management, etc. were organized not on universalistic principles but on particularistic ones. Of all the particularistic principles in operation in traditional or classical Chinese society birth and kinship were emphasized the most.
But at the same time, the society also emphasized achievement and a code of propriety in the conduct of roles which was equivalent to legal rationality universalistic principle. All these features were contained in Confucianism which was the official ethic in classical China. The dominance of universalism along with the ascription principle can be seen in the recruitment of civil servants in China. Entrance into these services was based on competitive examinations, which only those candidates who conformed to the official ethic could take. 4. Particularistic ascription pattern. It refers to such types of social structures in which the roles are organized in terms of values, which are associated with kinship, birth and other ascriptive features. In social structures of this kind, achievement through individual effort is not encouraged. Work in this type is considered as a necessary evil just as morality is a necessary condition of minimum stability, says Talcott Parsons. Overwhelming emphasis, in this kind of society, is placed on expressive or artistic orientations. Society is traditionalistic as there is no incentive to disturb tradition and a strong vested interest exists in favor of stability. In Parsons' view the Spanish Americans in the USA exemplify this type of social structure. But you could also debate whether traditional Indian caste society had features, which were particularistic ascriptive, or not. There are certain functions without which a social system cannot subsist. These are called functional prerequisites by Talcott Parsons. There are four such functional prerequisites. 1. Adaptation. Adaptation as a functional prerequisite implies generation and acquisition of resources from outside the system, its external environment and to affect its distribution in the system. External environment in this case means land, water, etc. As an example, we can mention the economic system, which involves resource utilization, production and distribution in a society. Adaptation is oriented to factors external to the system and it has an instrumental character. 2. Goal attainment. Goal attainment is that functional prerequisite which involves, firstly, the determination of goals, secondly, the motivating of members of the system to attain these goals, and thirdly, the mobilizing of the members and of their energies for the achievement of these goals. Its processes are consummatory in character although it does involve external interaction. The organization of the power and authority structure in a social system is an example of an institution where goal attainment is the primary thrust. The political processes are its examples. It needs to be remembered that goal attainment is related to the ideological and organizational setup of the social system. 3. Integration Integration is that functional prerequisite which helps to maintain coherence, solidarity and coordination in the system. In the social system this function is mainly performed by culture and values. Therefore, the cultural system and its associated institutions and practices constitute elements of integration. Integration ensures continuity coordination and solidarity within the system it also helps in safeguarding the system from breakdown or disruption. This functional prerequisite is internal to the system and has a consummatory character. 4. Latency. Finally, latency is that functional prerequisite of the social system which stores, organizes and maintains the motivational energy of elements in the social system. Its main functions are pattern maintenance and tension management within the system. Pattern maintenance. Social system influences human relations because it is a relational bond of personal or environmental roles that are a part of a whole, larger community. Furthermore, social systems collaborate and serve as a link between community organizations and larger institutions. It has a significant impact on human relations because the social system meets the needs of the larger unit of society. Social systems influence human relations through their characteristics such as achievement of specific goals, strong communal interaction, members' reliance on one another, a shared approach to communication with a vocabulary specific to their system. The key points of this lesson are 1. Social system is a relational bond of personal or environmental roles that are a part of a whole, larger community. 2. 
the pioneers on social system are Talcott Parsons who developed the first systematic theory of social systems as part of his Agile paradigm, Nicholas Luhmann who helped lay the groundwork for modern social system theory, and J. Wright Forrester who established the field of system dynamics, which is concerned with simulating interactions and dynamic systems. 3. The components of social systems are faiths and knowledge, sentiment, and goal or object ideals and norms, status role, role, power, and sanction. 4. The characteristics of social systems are system is connected with the plurality of individual actors, aim and object, order and pattern amongst various constituent units, functional relationship is the basis of unity, physical or environmental aspect of social system, linked with cultural system, expressed and implied aims and objects characteristics of adjustment, and order, pattern and balance 5. The types of social systems are universalistic achievement pattern, universalistic ascription pattern, particularistic achievement pattern, and particularistic ascription pattern. 6. The functions of social systems are adaptation, goal attainment, integration, latency. 7. Social systems influence human relations through the achievement of specific goals strong communal interaction, members' reliance on one another, a shared approach to communication with a vocabulary specific to their system, 